What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. We're doing a bunch of video game reactions today. It is me, Achara Kirk, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And Jabby Koe. Haro. Haro. Konnichiwa. Genki oh, wow. desu. Can you do this uh, intro in Japanese, please? Lies of the Lonen. Oh, wow. That's not racist. You'd be surprised how many Japanese words are actually just English, but with a Japanese accent. Yeah, I know. Like, Maku Donardo. Yeah, Ma that's McDonald's, Strawberry. by the way. Bed is bedo. Yeah. Couch is sofa. So we're watching Rise of the Ronin State of Play September 2022 reveal trailer from PS5 Games. This was a random selection because just saw it, the title, and was like, that looks cool. Well, with Ghost of Tsushima, I think it's like the trend now to go to feudal Japan and, or, you know, old it's Japan. It's always been a trend. I know, you but in games. You can never get bored of feudal no, that's Japan true. and samurai. Come no, on. No, and ninja. It's been a thing in games yeah. for a while, but it seems like it's making a comeback, is what I'm trying to say, ever since Ghost of Tsushima. I love it. It's dark. Darkest before dawn, in Rise of the Ronin, you will explore an evolving world as you fight to forge a new era for Japan. Okay. America. It's America. What? There's, oh, there's an American flag there. Oh, okay. So it is feudal Japan, like Ninja yeah. Turtles 3. <laughs> Ninja Turtles 3 was set in Feudal Japan. three centuries of the Tokugawa's repressive rule, oh. the black ships appeared without warning, and our nation began to tear itself apart. No! Those who cleave to the past, those who embrace the new, and the Ronin, a warrior free of all masters and bonds. Wow. Oh, Whoa. that's cool. I was like, what a job. I will watch over you all as your blades carve a new future. Damn. Whoa. Holy. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Your time has come. Rise as one. Oh. Sick. All right. So we got the, uh, whoa. oh, whoa. Is this Team Ninja? Is that what TC is? It gives me the same vibe as Ninja Gaiden. Oh, wait, it said it is Team Ninja, I think. This game? Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense, because the stylistically it feels similar. It's interesting, because like Ghost of Tsushima feels very, very grounded. Have you played Ghost of Tsushima at all? I did not. Ghost of Tsushima is a very, very grounded game, in terms of like feeling... I know it's it's a video game, but it feels like realistic for a video game, you mm -hmm. know? In terms of the movement and whatnot, and how you interact and whatever, and the fighting, all that stuff. It's as close to feeling real as you can get. Like the way, I guess, Last of Us feels more real, in that there's no like epic jumping or stuff like that, you know? Right. While there's dumb things that still make it a video game, like like your NPCs running around in front of the enemies or whatever, right? But like, let's set that aside. In terms of like how you interact with the environment and all that, it feels closer to reality. And so this is deviating away from that completely. It's like, let's have Ghost of Tsushima, but like awesome. <laughs> like people jumping around and flying and stuff like that, you know? I think that's that's a different way to go about it. It gave me immediate Assassin's Creed vibes for I some odd reason. I was thinking Assassin's Creed too, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but if you haven't seen Ninja Turtles 3, you should definitely watch that before playing this. Uh, it's great set, movie. It's set in the same exact era as this. Oh. Um, yeah, because the Ninja Turtles go back in time using this Japanese time machine travel thing. And the English had, like, landed. And so that's why the Japanese are able to speak English to the Ninja Turtles in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun fact about Ninja Turtles 3, because of that movie, I actually saved my mom's life with CPR because of what uh, character did in that movie where the kid was, you know, when he was inhaling fire and smoke and uh, one of the turtles saved its life with CPR. My mother was actually out of breath. And I used what I learned from that film CPR, my mother asked me, how did you know how to do that? I said, Danger and Ninja Turtles 3. So there was one good aspect of that film. Wow. So there what you a go. Story. That's yeah. the lesson, folks. <laughs> Watch that movie, if anything, for that reason. Yeah. Getting back to this, the, the visuals looked amazing. And I mean, I was definitely getting some Assassin's Creed vibes as well, which I love those games. I think I only got up to Assassin's Creed 4, the one where he was on the, the ship uh, back to them. But Black I, Flag. Black Flag. Yeah. I, I love that game. I love all the ones with Ezio, too. Um, yeah, I know. I'm loving this. The hand to hand combat looks really cool. I love uh, where he was gliding, where he was using that hook to come in. That reminded me a little bit of Batman with the Bat Claw. 
Claw just using that to uh, bring his enemies into him. So, th I mean, this looks really cool, and I love how they're using uh, their back in contemporary times. Uh, I always am a sucker for stuff like that, and I love the music, too, how it just elevates the mood, and mm -hmm. uh, this really looked really cool. I mean, these video game trailers are really making me want to get a PS5 now. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's cheap. It's going to be tough. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I wonder if they're going to do the same thing that they did with Ghost of Tsushima and have, like, a Japanese language track. But, I mean, they did speak... English during that time because the English came. So there is that. Do I oh. need to play that game before I play this one or they're not no, connected? No, they're totally not, different. They're okay, not cool. connected Totally different games. All. Yeah. I did enjoy the fact that you get a bunch of different weapons, it seems, because sometimes, I guess you, you just get more of the traditional weapons like your sword or, mm -hmm. or whatever. And then he had a few guns in this, which I thought were pretty cool. All the English brought that over, right? Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to fight with the guns, I think, to be on a level playing field with the, with the white man otherwise i mean as good as you are with sword play it's pretty hard to outrun a bullet it looks like a lot of fun doing a combination of the weapons and whatnot in the way yeah you know you can switch between sword and gun and what have you it's it's very over the top kind of like anime or something like that yeah with um, lots of blood I think that in the interest of getting away from what Ghost of Tsushima did, in my mind, for whatever reason, this is just a direct response to that. I have no idea if it's at all considered. It might have been made in a vacuum, and Ghost of Tsushima wasn't a thing in their minds as they developed this game. But I feel like it had to have been. I feel like it had to have been something they were considering. Like, okay, so here's where Ghost of Tsushima went. This direction. More serious, more grounded, more, what's his name, Akira Kurosawa, right. in terms of its approach. This is more just, let's go fun. In terms of, like, your leveling up and what have you, it's just gone the complete opposite direction direction. But doesn't it take years to make one of these games? So presumably... But I'm sure they were aware of each were, other. Yeah, maybe they were aware, but I mean, Ghost of Tsushima came out in 2020. Maybe there was some overlap, but I imagine they already had an idea of what they wanted to do, and then Ghost of Tsushima came out, and then, you know, maybe that influence certain things and, and decisions, but I, I doubt no that idea. it was like, oh my god, Ghost of Tsushima came out in 2020, let's quickly make a game in two years. Yeah, these definitely take lots of time to make, so I, I, I agree with you, Achara, that I mean, they had an idea of where they probably wanted to go story-wise, uh, visual-wise, and uh, in terms of like, hey, we want to go this direction yeah. with this game, we want to go this direction with the other game, so I mean, yeah, I agree with you. They had that probably in the forefront way ahead of time, because these take way longer than two years to make. I mean, look at the... the yeah. I'm not comparing, but look at the GTA games. Those take forever to make. Uh, yeah, that's a different... That's a different... Uh, no, I know. It's yeah, totally different. Entirely. I'm just... Making a point, video yeah. games take a very long time to make, especially nowadays with the frame rates and the visuals and the cin cinematography with all these games. Yeah, I just imagine that this is more just about the action of the game, whereas yeah. Ghost of Tsushima is about immersing yourself in that world. It's one of those things that's supposed to have moments of tranquility where you just sort of enjoy it. You know, the environment is so beautiful and the graphics are so great. This is just more about like how to slash them at, what's it called? At, um, hack them, slash them kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm. That, it feels more like that. To me it still looks cool don't get me wrong it's just a different feeling which is good you know it's a different approach and a slightly different era thank you so much guys for hanging out with us if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel click the bell icon for all notifications so you know whenever we drop a new video and upvote this video if you enjoyed what you watched feel free to educate us in the comments below i'm achara kirk this is andrew flash gordon and jabby kawaii ciao